He sets a tone every time he takes the mound. Uh, that's a competitor in him. Uh, not just tonight, but we've seen that same fiery competitor uh, each of the six starts he's made for us. So tonight was just another example of what he's been doing each time he walks to the mound for us. Was there any intent? Uh, he, he was going in with a fastball and pulled it in. He threw 115 pitches tonight. I don't know that you're going to hit the spot every single time you throw the baseball. Machado was complaining about you trying to um, buzz him. That's a fresh. Part of it, you know. Um, I can't can't speak on what he says. I, I don't know what he said. Um, I'm not too worried about it either. He said that you were trying to. It was obvious you were throwing out. I mean, do you take exception to him, him making that assumption? Whatever, man. Um, <laughs> not losing sleep tonight. Plain and simple. Uh, lost my respect for that organization in Boston and how they're handling the whole situation and. If they're gonna hit me, hit me. Go ahead, get it over with. Don't keep keep lingering it around and doing that. You know, I've lost mad respect for that team and that organization. Did you expect that tonight? I did not expect it at all. I don't expect anything when I go into the games and um, you know, first pitch goes out there 98, but you know, behind your back, I mean, what are you supposed to think? Home run feels good. Oh, it always feels good. They feel great when you square them up and you hit them hard. Now what? I mean, what do you think? Where are we with this? I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll just have to find out tomorrow and see. They're probably going to try to hit me again, once again. So, uh, um, you know, I'm just going to have to wear it and, and see we see what happens. And, you know, if I got to take care of business on my own, then I'm going to have to do some. Were you surprised by warnings issued that early in the game in the first inning after that pitch? Yeah, somewhat I was. Uh, typically, you don't see it that early. Uh, and, you know, they're going to determine whether there's intent immediately. Uh, obviously, with so much being written about what's transpired in the first six games or so that we played, uh, you know, DJ felt like it was an appropriate call, which whether or not that's not the debate, it's the call was made. Now, for more on the situation in Boston, we're going to go up to Fenway Park right now. Rock Kabaka from MassSports.com School of Rock is with the Orioles general manager, Dan Duquette. Rock. Dan, I know you'd love to keep the focus on the players on the field, the fact that your team's tied for first place, according to the standings right over there on the Green Monster, and yet here we are. I know you were part of a conference call today. Buck Showalter, John Farrell, Dave Dombrowski, Commissioner Rob Manfred, Joe Torrey. What was the general message that was sent there, and are you confident that maybe this whole thing is going to quiet down now well I hope so I'm real proud of the way our guys have played the last couple of days I think Major League Baseball they've seen a rivalry develop between the Red Sox and the Orioles these teams are very competitive they're both fighting out for the East and they'd like to see the game go back to the focus on the field and some of the tensions that have escalated between the clubs having played each other so many games here to start the season I think that's boiled over into some things that Major League Baseball would like to see stop, and frankly, we'd like to see him to stop. You know, we we think that uh, our guys are comporting themselves like professionals; they always do, and we can't have player players being thrown at every night and their livelihood threatened. So, I don't think anybody really wants that, and uh, I hope it ends. Unfortunately, this series will also be remembered for the harsh treatment given to Adam Jones, the racial slurs, somebody throwing a bag of peanuts at him. Are you satisfied with the way Major League Baseball has responded to that and the reaction throughout the industry? Well, I think it was uh, heartwarming the reception Adam got. Major League Baseball, the Red Sox, uh, the Orioles, they've all said that there's no place for that kind of behavior in our ballparks. And when you come to the ballpark, you want to see good players, then you can have a atmosphere you can watch the team and uh, I think everybody's satisfied with that and again tied for first place I believe your club's been in first or tied for first all but one day so far despite all the adversity the injuries uh, the key guys everything else are you satisfied right now with the way teams playing well this is a tough schedule we play the Yankees then we play the Red Sox and we played them a lot to start the season it's a really tough stretch we've been able to survive without Tillman and Britton who are our top pitchers a year ago so I think that's a credit to the grit of the team the way Buck handles the club and I think we got a little bit better pitching than people give us credit for this year. So I, I kind of like our ball club. I like where we are. I'd like to get out of here with a couple of more wins and go back home and uh, go against some of the teams in the National League. I was going to say, you've pretty much been in a division this whole series, or this whole season. I think you finally get to leave it. The White Sox come to town Friday. What kind of challenges does that present constantly having these in-division games? 
Well, the in-division games plus playing them in spring training means that we're in the same ballpark for like 25 games a year. So you're going to develop some rivalries. But I got to tell you, I've never seen Adam Jones play better defense. Manny played a terrific game on Monday night defensively. And I, I really like the way our ball club is playing. We got a really good defensive club this year. Our bullpen's going to be strong. I like our interior defense. And I like the complementary pieces that we have. And I think we're going to do pretty well. I know a big goal in the offseason to improve the pitching depth, triple A level, double A level, guys that could help the big league club. Are you pretty happy with where you are right now with that? And when would Ed Edwin Jackson be joining that fray? I know he's getting close. Well, we like some of the guys we brought up. Asher had a good start last night, and he's had a, a couple of good starts for us. He's done a good job. Uh, we brought Mike Wright up. He's still a triple A trying to break through. Uh, but I, I like the way that uh, Miley has come through this year. He's done a really good job. And Dylan Bundy, I mean, what a terrific job he's done so far. Look at the innings that he's given us and the quality and the command of the fastball and the way he handles himself like a real pro. Uh, uh, we got to be encouraged about the way Dylan's been doing. He looks great. I know the shuttle's been revved up between Norfolk and the big league club, which is what you guys wanted. You needed that flexibility. So are you glad you've been able to kind of implement that and move guys back and forth? Well, that's helpful, but what also helps is Brad Brock stepping up when uh, Zach Britton was out and doing a good job. Uh, we, we brought up some guys from AAA and we'll continue to shuttle them back and forth. That gives us some flexibility to keep the strong night in, keep the team strong night in and night out. But we need to have our core guys do their their job too. Trumbo's starting to come around. Scope's off to a good start. Caleb's filling in for Castile. He's out. Um, you know, uh, Seth Smith contributed in some wins. Gentry's helped us. So I think when you get everybody contributing and they know their role, I think it makes for a good season. Dan, thank you very much. Let's have a peaceful night tonight. Well, I'll take a I'll take a win against the Red Sox. I'll tell you that. All right. Let's go back to the studio, Tom and Rick.